What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to hack your PSP Um, well practically any PSP You can 2000, 1000, and 3000 I'm going to use the 3000 But it will work for any PSP So we're going to be updating it with 6.60 um, Pro C2 The most updated version So as you can see we're starting it up It's a regular PSP, hasn't been hacked as you can see, all regular. So we're just going to check it out. System settings. System information. And as you can see, version 6.60. So, uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's pretty normal. It is normal. It's a normal PSP. So you're going to need a computer. And on the computer, you're going to want to go on Google and get some files. So on Google, you're going to want to search up um, 6.60 Pro C2 and then download. Pro C2 download. I recommend you get Pro C2 because Pro C2 will let you play ad hoc games if you get Pro B. That's older and it will not let you play ad hoc games and it's not as bad. That's good to me. So you can use practically any link. I'll put a link in the description of the best one I think is. So you'll see something like this on most of them. Like this one it says 6.60 Pro C RAR. You just click it and it should start downloading. Right there in the bottom, as you guys can see, the in the bottom right there. I just put the camera kind of slanted, but you just open it up, click it, and you are gonna need some sort of um, RAR opening thing like WinRAR. That's for free, and you can get it. But I'm just using Windows 8's app, which lets you op open up um, closed applications, I guess, like zipped up applications. But yeah. And the things you will find, uh, where is it? And the things you will find, go back. Okay, uh, if you have Renrar, you're gonna find CPL Flasher. Wait, let me focus this. You're gonna find CPL Flasher Pro Update and Fast Recovery. The two files you're gonna need are Pro Update and Fast Recovery, okay? So, drag those. So I already have them right here. Pro update and fast recovery. So we just drag those out. So pro update and fast recovery. You're gonna need those two files. Once you get those two files, you're gonna connect your PSP to your USB. So turn it on. Connect it up. And once you connect it. It should open up. Uh, so I recommend you get this 6.60 Pro C2 because that's the most advanced and will give you less problems. So you'll go to PSP files. Go to your PSP when you open up. You would open up like this. And you would find all this other stuff. And you would just go to PSP. Game. And once in game, you would go... And get your two pro update and fast recovery. Doesn't matter if it's a PSP 2000 or 3000. You're just gonna get it. But if you want to get it, get get it to be permanently. You can only do it for 2000s and 1000s, and you're gonna need the flasher. But since I have a 3000, I'm not gonna do it. So you after that, you just exit out. And once you exit out, get to your PSP and connect it. Once you unconnect it, go to your games, and you'll see this thing called Pro Update. Not this one. Fast Recovery. We'll wait later. But Pro Update, click it. And it should start up. Uh, you should guys should share this video. Lots of people don't know that this is the new update, so if you guys still play on PSP, you guys should tell people about this. So as you can see, it says... Press X to launch custom firmware.
press L to uninstall custom firmware and click L to reinstall. So I always click X and complete. So go. And mine has already been hacked. So that's why it has all its custom themes. But if you guys could comment below or other stuff, I could show you guys how to get custom themes really easy. But yeah, and since it's not permanent, once you shut it down, like a hard shut down, like that, you, when you turn it back on, it's not going to be there. So that's why you have fast recovery. So you could delete the the pro update once you're done installing it like right now I could just delete it well delete it and I could just use fast recovery which is a heck of a lot faster and, and will only take a little while and as you can see now it's hacked so we're gonna go to system settings and go to system information and there it is. 6.60 Pro C2 and yeah. So yeah, I recommend you get Pro C2. You can get other ones if you have a favorite one, but it's practically the same thing and you can hack your PSP like this. It works on 1000s, 2000s, 3000s. And yeah, share this video and like, comment, and subscribe. So see ya.